Do you know that the Philadelphia Tribune is the oldest continuously published African-American newspaper in the United States? Are you aware that this newspaper was founded in 1884 by Christopher J. Perry? Do you understand the significance of having a newspaper that has existed for over a century? When I think of the millions of articles that have been written, the millions of lives that have been changed as a result of the reporting of this paper, how this paper has kept the African-American community informed over the years, over the decades, I'm just impressed and astounded that this paper is still active and is still doing its job. I am sitting on a bench outside of the headquarters of the Philadelphia Tribune, which is located at 520 South 16th Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. After punching out from work today, I decided that I needed to purchase a copy of the Philadelphia Tribune. There is a newspaper box in front of the newspaper and you can purchase it at any time. I want to recommit myself and rededicate my financial support to this newspaper because I understand how important it is for this paper to continue and to have longevity and to educate and to inform the future generations. There's so many papers that have died out. There's so many black businesses that have died out, black bookstores that have died out. And I'm realizing this paper has to continue, but it cannot do so without our support. So that is why I'm making this video and that is why I'm spreading the news because this paper has to go on. It has to continue to provide opportunities and information to the community that is currently reading the paper and for future generations. So let me tell you just a little bit about the Philadelphia Tribune. According to Wikipedia, which is my favorite source, the paper began in 1884 when Christopher J. Perry published it first copy. Throughout its history, the Philadelphia Tribune has been committed to the social, political, and economic advancements of African Americans in the greater Philadelphia region. During a time when African Americans struggle for equality, the Tribune acted as the voice of the black community for the Philadelphians. Historian V.P. Franks asserted that the Tribune was an important African American cultural institution that embodied the predominant cultural values of upper, middle, and lower class black Philadelphians. Christopher James Perry Sr. was an African American journalist and the founder of the paper. Perry began writing for local Philadelphia newspapers such as The Sun Mercury. However, in 1884, The Sun Mercury went bankrupt and Perry was without a job. Later that year, on November the 27th, 1884, Perry began his own newspaper entitled The Philadelphia Tribune. He ran the operation as the owner, reporter, editor, copier, and advertiser. Perry worked on the Tribune until his death in 1921. Throughout his career with the Tribune, Perry promoted the advancement of African Americans in society and covered issues affecting their daily lives. I was surprised to find out that the Philadelphia Tribune was not the only African American newspaper. At some point in our history, we had the Philadelphia Standard Echo, the Philadelphia Sentinel, the Philadelphia Defender, and The Current. By 1900, the Tribune became the leading voice of Black Philadelphia, and W.E.B. Du Bois referred to it as the chief news sheet in the city. If you are not from the Philadelphia area, and you would like to support the Philadelphia Tribune, and you would like to read the articles, and the information that is in this paper, you can definitely look at the Philadelphia Tribune's online component to the magazine. 
you will be able to log in and you will be able to access the information online. As I said, I have been thinking a lot about the Philadelphia Tribune and I have decided that I will be purchasing this paper on a regular basis and I will be scouring its pages looking for articles about writing, about publishing, about books that are coming out, information that I think you may find useful. And as many of you know, a lot of people who write fiction take actual events that happen in real life and they embellish them or they use them in their writing. So this will give us an opportunity to see if we can glean some stories from this newspaper and use them in our own writing. And as I said, I truly, truly am appreciating this paper and realizing how important it is for me and for my community and to bring this information to you as well. So I'm wishing you love, peace, joy, and happiness as always. And I truly, truly appreciate your support. And definitely check out my catalog of ebooks, audiobooks, and paperback books. I'm sure there's something there for everyone.